sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management. Hi, I'm Chris Lopez, technical marketing engineer for Catchpoint. For today's tech tip, I'm going to be focusing on one of Catchpoint's web tools that I think deserves a lot more love and attention. I'll be using the Catchpoint recorder to translate my web page clicks into a test that can help me monitor the critical use cases of my business. The Catchpoint Recorder is a Chrome extension that allows me to capture and replay multi-step transactions by identifying what I type and click and generating a Catchpoint test from the results. In context, today I'm going to be mapping out a buyer's journey through my e-commerce website, and I'll show you the Catchpoint test to give you an idea of what web elements have the most amount of leverage over your user experience. So over the course of this tech tip, I'm going to go over what the Catchpoint Recorder is and how to set it up. I'll generate a test by navigating to a website and buying something, and then I'll run the test to give you a sense of what your buyer's journey looks like inside of Catchpoint. All right, let's hop in. Here, I'm at the Chrome extension page for the Catchpoint Recorder. Once I add it to my browser, I'll see a separate window pop up with the Catchpoint Recorder inside. Using the tool is straightforward. Just navigate to whatever website you want to test and Hit the record button and start going through whatever process it is you need to keep a track of. Catchpoint will log your actions and turn the results into Selenium, a scripting language used in Catchpoint tests. For example, if I use the search bar, it'll appear inside Catchpoint Recorder like this. As I go about adding items to my card and checking out or whatever I need to do on this website, more and more commands will appear here that I can turn into more steps of a Catchpoint test. That test is, in turn, providing a lot of details about the user's buying process and potential problems that they'll need to be aware of. How long did it take the page to load and become interactive? Did DNS take an unusually long time to resolve? Is everyone able to go through the buying process without any issues? The recorder and its resulting test outputs are going to show me what to look for when something stops my users from spending money. And now that you've seen how it works, I'm going to show it to you in action. In this example, I'm going to buy something from an online vendor, and I'll lay out the entire process from clicks to test results. Here, I'm turning on the recorder for the first time, and I'll tell it what URL I'm starting from. As I start interacting with the site, you can see the Selenium script appear in the recorder. In this example, I want to also test out web options like the size menu and other sorting features to highlight the more complex web elements the recorder is looking for. For example, when I click on the sort by, we see that that actually turns into a separate step inside a catch point. If I wanted to say chest size, it also is able to recognize that setting. And I'm going to go ahead and define the color as well. And it seems like I found something that I want to buy. So I'll go ahead and click into that, and I'll just take a moment to point out that Catchpoint is turning each of these into separate steps. Each one corresponding to a different Selenium command, like click and wait, set set name, and click. But other elements exist too, like waiting for elements to appear, such as if you had a pop-up that you need to test. Anyway, once I've outlined the entire process, I stop recording here. And then I can instantly test it by hitting the play button. When I use it, the recorder plays back the script that I just generated, and we can see it going through all the web pages. It'll also provide some quick, instant test results for each step in terms of number of page requests and load time. In addition, if I needed to stop the test midway, like if one of these steps was experiencing an issue, such as down here, I could go ahead and put the third step into breakpoint here, so that way the step will automatically stop until I've done that more advanced troubleshooting, and then I continue it manually. I'm going to navigate to the top right corner here and tell the recorder to generate an instant test. When I do, I'll be taken directly to Catchpoint's SaaS platform. Here, I can see a new Catchpoint instant test appear. I'll need to specify what type of test I'm running. In this case, it's a transaction test. And once that loads, I can copy and paste the Selenium script into the script area. Then, uh, I'll need to decide what kind of nodes I want to run this on, and while there are a lot of distinctions between different node types, I'll assume you know which one you want to run your test on and what geographic modifiers you want to use. So I've selected a monitor, which is a Chrome browser up here. I'd be able to use others if I'd like to, but this example is Chrome. 
And I also need to specify what type of data I'd like to capture um, in addition to what I'm getting from the test results. HTTP headers, do I want a page speed score, or just a screenshot of what each step looks like and the rate of time I wanted to test. I'm just gonna go through with this test here and we're gonna see what the results are. Here in the results, I can see rich metrics that Catchpoint has captured for every single step that I put into the recorder. It looks like step three failed, but before I dive into that, I wanna take a look at all the uh, metrics that I got from the other steps, such as web page response time, potential bottlenecks, DNS results, connect times, weight, load, and file size, number of requests, and the availability of the page that's being tested. And down here, we have a lot more granular information on specific paths and files that Catchpoint had to interact with. In addition, I'm gonna be able to see the web metrics for each step as Catchpoint processed it. But I'm gonna go ahead and check step three and see what happened there. So it looks like step number 253 failed to execute properly. And while Catchpoint was able to continue the rest of the test, it wanted to point out that if I was a regular user, my experience would have ended at this point. It means I should be checking out this page and possibly adding that to a couple of breakpoints in order to test why that page wasn't exactly loading. Now, for any high traffic site, I'm obviously going to need to monitor a lot more paths than I can cover with a single transaction. But up here, back in the Catchpoint Recorder, I can save this test for later and schedule it to run regularly. With the Catchpoint Recorder, I can create tests in a matter of moments. And if I had 100 critical paths I need to monitor, Catchpoint's going to help me painlessly keep track of each one with the Recorder tool. As you've seen, monitoring sites with Catchpoint is made easy thanks to the Catchpoint Recorder. It lets you instantly test sites inside of the tool and inside of Catchpoint's SaaS platform. And there are a lot of other applications for this Catchpoint Recorder that I'd love to show you, but that's all the time we have for today. So thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management.